All right, welcome back guys to another tutorial with Care Services and Blamo Tutorials. Today we're gonna to move on to uh, part two of the intro to programming and logic. And we're gonna get into a more in-depth kind of uh, start, not the very beginning basics. I'm calling it like a second level basics. Uh, so most classes like this, you're gonna be in a chapter kind of two or chapter three of your book in a college class of uh, intro to program and logic. The point of this is try to help people that don't understand or someone who has a teacher that just over talks or they, in the case of most people, have someone in the classroom that wants to get their nerd on and overdo everything and confuse the heck out of everybody. So we're gonna do this one problem. So if you followed along last time, you know we're, we're going on the whole KISS method, keep it simple stupid guys and let's build from the beginning to the end and my recommendation for everybody is do the pseudocode once you build your pseudocode flowcharts are, are cake i mean all you gotta do is learn your symbols and you know you've got it you know lined out and we're going to go over that and i'm going to prove it to you so you can see that yes you take a little bit extra steps but at the end of the day it will save you days hours whatever worth of work so uh let's get started all right, if you follow along right here at the top of the, at the, I'm using Smart Draw by the way, if you can't read. But uh, today we're gonna do a monthly sales tax. So basically it's given us two constants that we need to use. 4% for your state sales tax and a 2% for your county. As well as gives us a formula down here with the actual conversion to decimal. So if you did not know how to convert a percent to a decimal, then go back to eighth grade but back to the program. So we got to design a modular program that asks the user to enter in the total sales for the month. Uh, from the figure, this application should calculate and display the following, the amount of county sales tax, the amount of state sales tax, the total sales tax, the county plus state. So see, there's a formula right there, total sales tax, county plus state, and represented in the pseudocode, which we're gonna happen to be doing flowcharts, and uh, but we'll do both, so you'll see it and represent the, and that's, well, that's the name constants. All right, so before we get into flowcharts and all that again, I'm gonna pull up my little PDF here that I got set up for you. My, my pseudocode, my fake code. First, you have to always declare whatever variables you think you'll use. So we go through, we have two constants that we have to use, a county tax and a state tax. I'm representing that as C tax at a 0 .02 and a real S tax at 0.04. I'm also declaring a uh, total sales, a county, <laughs> if you notice here, I left off to see, which sometimes doesn't matter because we're not going to actually use a lot of it, and pseudocodes for you to work off of. So it, it's going to change, I, I can see a couple things here that we're going to change out either way, but what I do is I go through and say, okay, well I have to start my program and I have to end my program, which I haven't ended on my pseudocode either. So I, I just typed this up real fast. So to start it, you always have to have a main. So right here is your main program in my pseudocode, the way I do it. I've got my main program and all my calls right here to my functions, which is also my function name. So you'll see that here in a second. But we have to start with a, we need to know what the total sales for the month are. So we display this and ask, you know, what are your total sales? Once they, the user gives us those total sales, we input this, we input whatever they give us into this variable total sales, okay? Next in line, it says that we need to, let's just pull this down, we need to calculate all our stuff and get our county tax, our state tax, and then total the taxes together. So what we do next is we come through and we set up a function because they want it modular, so we or we have a module since we're doing just straight up pseudo and flow charting. We have a module. We're going to name it C tax, which you see right here. You don't have to do your reels when you do your flow charts. You'll see we're going to do a call C tax, and then we're just going to do a module C tax because you're flow charting. You're not actually building an actual program, so you just got to know how to do it. So inside this, we have to actually call whatever we're gonna return back to the program. And in this one, we will return something because we wanna return what the value of this is. 
So what we do is we set up our C tags. We set we bring in our variable here for our parameters, our total cell, and what our main constants is up here. So on this one C tags, on the other one S tags, and we declare the count. Uh, we declare counting right here. I did, and then we set counting equal to the C tags times the total cells, so that it gives us what our total uh, due for the month is. And at the end of this, we display it and we return, basically we're returning what this value is back in to our uh, function, our module, our method, whatever you want to call it. We follow it down and do the same thing here with our state. You know, we start our, our function opened up here. We're declaring state so we can bring in the total and then we're going to go ahead and display it. Most times, people won't display the actual you don't have to display it inside the function. A lot of people will just leave it where it is and then when you call it back out in your main here, you can call it inside of a variable or you can actually just call it out there. So it doesn't matter. The way I'm doing it is I'm just returning everything back in so that when I return these variables, they come back for total tax at the next function, which I'm pulling in to the parameters here. So my total tax, I have to pull in the state variable and I have to bring in the county variable so that I can declare the real total tax and then set total tax to state plus county. That way we can display what we're doing. Now you'll notice here I've gotten real up here. Uh, these actually could, actually could be like integers or ver uh, doubles. I, I would more likely go with a double than I would anything. but. You know, for what we're doing, we're just saying real. It's a real number, so we're gonna just go ahead and keep those where they are. And then right here, I've got void. This is a perfect example of what's going on when you're not returning anything. All I'm doing, I'm not returning any kind of variable to go anywhere else. I'm just declaring it, and we're done. And this is my last return back into the major program, where I should technically have like a little end right there. So that's what we're gonna do next. So we're gonna go ahead and. Get this ready and we're going to flowchart it all right all right so we are back and we are doing the flowchart now and this is what i was telling you guys since we have the actual stuff already built not you know what i closed that out didn't i all right so here we are now i'm going to show you how easy this is to go through your pseudo code and put it into your actual thing we're going to go ahead and get rid of this here we don't need it what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through this line here first, and I'm gonna look at everything I have to do. I need to start what I'm doing and name it. So we're doing our monthly sales tax. So I'll just put uh, month sales tax. That way we have a start to the program and it's named aptly. Okay, so now we're moving on to our next, which should be our main function, we have uh, a display and an input, so we know we're going to have two datas right here. Well, we got to declare, don't we? See, there's real world screw up. We need to have a process that declares all of our var uh, variables right here. Then we have two inputs for one for a display and one for a uh, well, one for a display or output, one for an input. Next, we have a function that's calling C tax. So on this one, I'm gonna come down here to my processes. Then we have another one for S tax. Then we have another one for total tax. I hope y'all are like paying attention to what I'm doing here because this here, these two displays on this one, this whole thing can be wrapped inside of a function as well. If you wanna go straight module, that's what I would do. I'm just kind of giving you an example of the two together. So here we've got our, our declare statement. I'm going to copy this, control C on computer, paste it in. And then I'll show you how I correct all this in a minute. Next we have display, then we have an input. See what I'm doing guys? This is like mad easy. Copy this, put it inside that, then we have state. And then we have total tax. And there, our first main is done. 
So I'm going to move that down just a little bit. And you know, Visio is the same way. I don't know how that works. I just like to do things really, really fast. And then I go through and I space everything vertically and give it some equals between it. But that's me. So here, I'm just going to go ahead and copy this one. We're going to have three of these bad boys. So we're going to just add a couple more. Alright, that's going off screen, but you'll, we don't really have to follow that along. We've built our program. It's here, it's done, it's ready to go. So now we're just going to follow in here with a declaration. So we'll go back up here. So we've got our declaration here. So we need a process. Each one has one. So we'll just go ahead and add one on all three of these. Okay. We're going to set in there. And actually, you can probably just declare that right there. So, but I'll show you how to do that either way. I wouldn't do this normally. Like I said, your pseudocode changes as you flow along, but we'll do it this way. Actually, I'll do one, I'll do two this way and then one the other way. All right, and then we have a display for each one. We're going to display something. And then we're going to return the values. Even when you do, uh, you have to end it. You just cannot press end. So here we'll go ahead and do the RTC. We'll do, uh, we'll do return on this one. That way you can see all this. Now what we're going to do is just come over here and we're going to get all our declarations here. So here you have C tax. Uh, erase that one. Ah, come on now. C tax there. We're going to get our declaration here. See, this takes me longer just doing it this way instead of just putting that county set to what I wanted it to in the first place. And I mean, literally, guys, this is copy and paste. So I'm going to pause the video and I'm just going to go ahead and finish it this for you. All right, we're back. We got it done. We've added our little arrows here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and close this out because you see this and you, you, you know what the pseudocode was. If not, you can go back and follow it. Here it shows you everything we got. We've got the start of our program. We declare all our major variables, which in this, we could actually take all this out. We don't have to have this a lot of this stuff because we're declaring it here. All right, guys, I went in and eliminated the variables right there that I didn't need because I'm declaring them in these uh, three functions. So basically, going back to what we're doing here, uh, we declare the variables here that we're gonna use, our constants and our real total cells, which is right here. Uh, we have our three functions set up, modules, however you want to call it, and li uh, lined out here are our modules in order of how we've got them here. So it, it doesn't matter if these two are different or these two are different, because they all go back the same, but you can't get a total tax here if you haven't first declared your two sales taxes there. So uh, today we've learned how to basically set up a uh, pseudocode we've learned what the different symbols are for. And I hope that you've got a better grasp of that now. Uh, we've tried to explain in a 15 minute time period of how to build out a function, what you're doing when you return something back into the called statement and when you void it out and you have a voided uh, function because you're not returning a variable, you're not returning back any kind of parameter of any sort or any argument for this matter. And you just return back to the actual program itself and then you end. But make sure that we are not ending on any of these functions, we are just returning. Because you end here, program's done. You end here, same, you know, same setup here. So, all right, that rounds up the uh, intro to programming logic version two. As you can hear, my baby's in the background crying, so we need to wrap it up, son. So, uh, got any questions, comment, rate, subscribe. Hit me up on Facebook. Let me know what questions you have. For those who this actual tutorial is for, you can talk to me on the fly as you need. So, uh, hope y'all learned something. Get back to me. Let me know what you think. Press the little comment button right down here and say hey I like this you know and 
give me a little heads up or what else we can do to help you. You can check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash care services NC on the web at careservices.com and that's care with a K and uh, we'll be back with you shortly with another tutorial. Until then, have a good day.